Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question what could be the problem if your device is not charging on USB-C. That's a problem which we'll see more and more in the future. And so I think it's very important to have some at least some basic knowledge about that. But it will definitely be a problem more and more in the future since the manufacturers are adding USB-C charging ports to these uh, wall charger charging stations whatsoever. So when you get such a device which has USB-C port then usually you get such a cable which is USB-C on one side, USB-A on one side. Then you plug it in here and you will see after some time a red charging light here. It's a little bit difficult to see but we definitely have charge. We can also lift it up see it's charging with two amps absolutely perfect. But maybe just by chance you mix it up you have a USB-C to C cable here also plugged in on this USB-C port here. And you think, okay, yeah, I have this ready. I could take it to charge. And we are checking here and checking and checking. And it is definitely not charging. It stays at zero. And you think, okay, there is something wrong. Either cable damage, this device damage, charger damage. But I can tell you, no, it's actually not. So what's the problem here? The problem is that the USB-C trigger is missing so usually i can't tell you if it's in all the cases but uh, as far as i have seen it is in most of the cases that a trigger is needed for a usb-c to c charging connection so i'm changing this configuration a little bit and i plug this device in between so i attach it here and attach it to the usb-c output here and now when we lift it up, we can see it's charging with two amps. We have power here and we also see the red light. It's a little bit difficult to see. I think we can see it better here on this side. Yeah, we definitely have the red light and it is charging. So the difference is only that this device has a trigger. It's activating a trigger here and so it starts providing the power. But of course you don't want to buy such a 30 dollar device just to activate the charging from USB-C to USB-C. And so there are smaller devices, but unfortunately the devices which I have tested so far are pretty unreliable. Here we don't have anything at all. When we plug it in here, we can see a little bit of blue light. We think, okay, it's activated. We plug in this here and the light goes off. It should actually stay here. I don't know why it's not staying. I have quite some problems and the reviews are not the best for this device. I've also been checking on Amazon if there are already USB-C to C cables around with built-in trigger, but it looks like it's not. I don't know why. Maybe they will come out at some point. But the only thing which I have seen or USB-C to DC, means USB-C to 3.5 millimeters, something like that. That's available, but not USB-C to USB-C. I really have no clue why. Yeah, the last thing I wanted to test, USB-C to USB-C without PD. Here we have power bank. It has also USB-C input and output, but it's not PD compatible. It doesn't have high power or so, so I just plug it in here can see it activates and do we get some charge yeah we have definitely some charge here and so when we test this power bank here with this test we can definitely see that it doesn't have any pd or pps support so somehow for me it looks like we can use usb-c to usb-c but only as long as we don't have pd support from the power bank or wall charger or whatsoever so at the moment we have to deal with this situation i mean usually usb to usb is very easy you can almost plug everything into everything as long as the plugs are fitting 
the amps are automatically adjusted the voltage is usually automatically adjusted you don't have to think about anything it is as convenient as it gets but not USB-C to USB-C that's the only thing which you have to remember and that's the reason why I wanted to make this video and so I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you liked the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time